This piece of research is again something that I would suggest you should look at. It was done with the CIPD and what it does is we went out and talked to loads of clients, loads of HR directors, HR managers and said tell us about which agencies you really like working with and which ones you don't like working with, but we won't name any names. Um, but the point was we wanted to look at what does best practice look like. So within this piece of research we've defined, and I'll show it to you in a minute, used an engagement model, what does best practice look like. And now why is this important? Because again, we have got huge pressure on price. Yeah, You know that, your clients are always trying to get you to do more for less. And if you look at the permanent marketplace, so just look at the data, what's happened in the last year. Volumes are down by 20%. Value down by 40%. All right? So volumes are down by 20%, but value down by 40%. That means your margins, this industry, have been under huge pressure. You know, and every single client's wanting you to do more for less. So how do you counter that? The only way you can counter it if you're a recruiter is adding value. Adding value to the relationship. And that's what came out of this research. It talks about how the recruiters work with the HR community around their employer brand. How do you really understand their requirements, their culture, their strategy, and give them the skills, talent, and capability they need. So it defines how you can go about that. And if I just show you a couple more slides before I get off, because the crook will be coming soon, I think. Um, this is basically the engagement model that shows you that you want, you know, what clients were saying is they want a, an organisation that works right at this top level. It's completely engaged with them, anticipates their needs, understands their requirements, not just for that job, but invests some time and energy in working with them. So how much do you invest in really spending time? Can I come to your meetings? Can I sit on some of your training courses? Can I really understand your organisation so that you, I can add value by giving you the people that you need? Not just now, but in the future. So that's a, a model of best practice. Some of the outputs, no great surprising, openness and honesty. Not just about the margin. You know, we, we look up for solutions. Clear performance measures. But there's a relationship built of trust. And that takes time to form. But also, my agency provides value. It's not just about giving me the person. They're doing psychometric testings. They're actually starting to help me with my reward system. They're starting to talk to me about training and development. So they're actually starting to provide a much more holistic service to me. So that's what this research says. You can download this again from the website and take it out and talk to your clients and actually get them into a conversation about value rather than price which is where we all want to be, trust me. We want to be talking about how can I provide value rather than can I do it for 5% cheaper than last year? Because that's where they'll drive us. If we can't define the value we can create, we're going to commoditize our own industry and it's going to be driven on price. Now let me tell you one story, okay? When I was an HR director, we had this fantastic tendering process, the procurement run, you've all been through them, you love them dearly, and it's for professional recruiters. We were looking for companies to work with us on IT, HR, finance and program management. And every single one of them came in and over two days, it was me, a couple of my HR colleagues and procurement director. Every single one of the recruiters that came to see us over those two days, you know, the beauty parade, said how wonderful they were. Yeah? Choose us, we've understood your business, this is what we can do, this is how we're innovating, fantastic. Very, very positive. As you would expect from recruiters, no one turned up and said, pick us, we're sort of average. <laughs> so that was great. Now you get to the end of the two days, but every single recruiter during that process, and there was 12 of them from memory, did something which is really, really one of our major problems. They talked down their own industry. Now we have got some problems with rogues or poor um, uh, agencies that don't comply. But one of the things that we have to do, because every single one, those 12 companies said, I gather you're talking to them. Well, they're a, they're a bit dodgy. I've heard some stories about them. Or, oh, you know, our industry talks about rogues and cowboys. You know what happens at the end of those two days when me and the procurement director are sat there and we're making some decisions? You discount all the positive stuff. And you know what we listen to? Actually, they're all sort of very much the same. 
So why don't we just make the decision on price? So one of our jobs, and that's why I come out and talk to our members and try and do this passionately, is to talk about all the things that we do as an industry that's great, that adds value. Because if we keep talking down our industry, they'll keep making decisions on price. They keep making decisions on price, your margins get affected, it makes you much harder to make money and be successful. So again, we've got to use this type of stuff to be able to sell our industry as well as our business. Um, and here were some of the future predictions that clients have said to us. Um, more agency specialisation. The clients are certainly looking for not just generalist recruiters, but people that can really give them the expertise they're le looking for and know their markets incredibly well, whether it's IT programmers or whether it's you know, OD consultants or whether it's you know, compliance managers or risk managers, but actually the consultancy's got a real understanding of that marketplace and the skills and their requirements. Trend towards um, all the stuff the clients are looking for, outsourcing, vendors, uh, anything that can help them make the process more cost effective, but at the same time they're still looking for this value proposition about the adding value, greater sophistication in managing the database, more collaborative working relationships. So we've got this dual thing going on. We've got to be really cost effective, but we've got to add value. So that's the challenge for any recruiter. Um, and then finally, we've done some more research that will be coming out later uh, this year where we've gone even more into detail about the added value. So we've gone out and said that piece of research was great. It talked about the relationship and best practice. Now let's really dig into it. What really creates that added value? And again, we've done that with the CIPD. And just for those of you that are interested in how to use social media, because I go out and talk to recruiters all the time, and it's a great tool, but we've got six experts that basically have given us a view on how to use um, social media, whether it's LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever. It's there, it's free. You know, it's on the web. Just use the information that we provide. Final point, we have some IRP awards later in the year, and you were very, very successful last year to win the People Development Award. I'm keen to promote it. I'm keen because there's a Temp Consultant of the Year, Perm Consultant of the Year, Executive Recruiter of the Year, Interim Recruiter of the Year. You know, then there's a few awards for businesses as well. So again, the reason why I'm promoting that is it's one of the ways in which we say what's great about our industry and celebrate success and hold people up as role models. This is what professional recruiter looks like. This is about uh, what they should be doing in the marketplace. Huge marketing and branding opportunity for you to get some people to be individual winners. Um, two years ago, Emma Bedford Patel from Tate won the Perm Consultant of the Year and the Overall Consultant of the Year. She got uh, three radio interviews, including a big one with on the Today programme half page in the FT, was uh, interviewed in every single one of the recruitment magazines, recruitment consultant, recruitment international, the recruiter, UK recruiter website, because she was our recruiter of the year. So we will basically give all the winners, all the shortlisted candidates, huge opportunities to go out and talk about what they're doing well. Because that reflects back to what I said right at the beginning about what our industry does and how it adds value. And again, we've got a convention on the same day, 20th of October, which is about the future of our industry and what's going to happen over the next five years. And I'd love to see some of you at that.